question for uh, Mr. Ali is, what did Muhammad meant when he ordered to worship three daughters of Allah? Well, it, the way Muslim scholars have understood this have been two different ways. Some Muslim scholars had understood that uh, there was an occasion where the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, in reciting uh, Surah an najm um, inserted or uh, recited some uh, verses which seemed to approve of the what the Quraysh called the daughters of Allah, as though they are high-flying cranes, one who can, uh, whose intercession is desirable. Uh, but they said that uh, in reciting this, it wasn't the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, receiving revelation from God, but somehow Satan intervened, and God then blotted out that part which Satan intervened with and uh, confirmed his own revelation, so that what we have finally is the book of God, as was revealed to the Prophet Muhammad. We do not have this satanic intervention, this satanic interference. But uh, other Muslim scholars have questioned the validity of this story, and they think that, in fact, this was invented by others and foisted on the Muslims who received the story uh, gullibly, and uh, they said that this was so. In fact, uh, not only Muslim scholars, but uh, I can cite John Burton, uh, who has, in fact, held uh, the same view. And, in fact, he supports that with many logical and other arguments. He thinks that uh, this could not have been a, a, a true incident in history, that this was invented by others, and the question remains, why would Muslims have accepted that story the way it is invented? And John Burton has, uh, thinks he knows the reason why, that uh, there were certain Muslim scholars who were very eager to prove all of the various forms of abrogation, the Nasqa Tilawa uh, and, and the Nasqa, uh, the, 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 the abrogation of the text and the hukum, or the text alone without the hukum or the hukum, and so on. So in, in trying to prove all of the various forms of abrogation, they found in this story a, a confirmation of the abrogation of both uh, a, a text altogether with uh, any hukum that might have been in, even though it doesn't have any hukum. So it seems then that John Burton is correct in his estimation that this is not an original story, uh, and hence there is nothing really that remains uh, to be explained. 